Hi there, this is Siddharth Bandari and you are watching Made in India channel where we design and print in 1 dimension, 2 dimension and 3 dimension with imagination. So here in India, rainy season will arrive in a month or so. Whereas in places like Goa where I stay, it has been already raining heavily outside there. Actually, rainy season is not a problem. I personally like rainy seasons very much. However, the real problem arises when the clothes don't dry outside there. And I want a solution for it. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and let us enjoy the rain together. So let me tell you what's running in my mind. I want to design a pure mechanical gadget that will have a number of turns or string windings inside it. So whenever you want to dry a clothes, you just have to pull one end of it and fix it to the other so that you can dry your dirty clothes on it. And after the job is done, you just need to unwind it to its normal position. Looks simple, isn't it? But it's not. Make sure you watch this video to the end and you will find it yourself. Now I guess such kinds of stands for holding a close indoor are already available online. Let's check some of them. As you can see on Amazon, this product is available but the price is a bit too long. It's $99, $39, $31. Come down it is $41, $24, $32. And from a previous video, you already know that I'm very poor enough to use them. So I have to drop this idea of like this. So I will design it myself because I got the knowledge, talent, my 3D printer and that's all the thing else I have. Here is my glimpse of innovation so that you don't run away from here. So now this is how the beauty of my design looks like. So I made a simple box with some gears inside it and yeah, a handle too. So when you remove the top lid, inside you will find there are bevel gears. When you rotate this lever, the gear will rotate and it will throw out the string from this tiny hole here. So when you want to dry your clothes, you just need to pull the string outside. And the string will come out from here. And when you wish to unwind the string, you just need to rotate this handle. These are the two bevel gears which I have printed. And the prints are turned very much well. So you see, differing the number of teeth on each wheel allows a mechanical advantage to be changed. Let me explain you this in the CAD format. So if I hide this box, this is how the bevel gears looks like. It's the handle and the shaft for this gear. This is the dry wheel, this is the driven wheel. So if you see the teeth, these are conical teeth bevel gears. That is the teeth are in conical shape. By increasing or decreasing the ratio between the drive and the driven wheels, one can change the ratio of rotations between the two. Meaning that the rotational drive and torque of the second wheel can be changed in relation to the first is speed increasing or torque decreasing or speed decreasing or torque increasing now i know many of you have not understood what i meant to say stick to this video to the end and you will find it yourself now let us assemble all these parts and see how well this assembly has printed out now these are all the printed parts that are required these are the bevel gears which you have seen just now this is the box in which all these parts will fit so let us assemble these parts one by one and see what we got. So if I see the 3D, I think I need first to assemble the shaft to this driven wheel, the bigger gear over here. Now what happened over here is that the shaft here is not going inside the driven wheel because there is an interference over here. This have printed, I think, a little bigger. I have to sand it now so that the shaft goes just inside this wheel. Even after giving a clearance of 1 mm, the shaft is not going inside this. Yeah. I guess I have messed with some settings in my 3D printer. Now it's just little tight fit, so I will send it a little so that 
इट गोस इन सर्टिस के नाउ आई पॉर सम ऑयल सो दैट सो आर सो मच हेयर सो दैट I just want to dry my clothes. So now finally it's inside. In an attempt of making it a tight fit, I made it an interference fit. Next time I will take care of it. And after years of banging, this is how a real struggle looks. Some part has been filled inside that lid, and it will be. I will show you it later. Now that we are done with the struggle, let's now install the gear into the case. So here is my lid. So I think I should first install the smaller gear. I think it will go inside the lid. Ah, yeah. After that, let me put the gear inside. And if I rotate, oh. So that was my mom shouting on me. So let me now explain you what I was talking earlier about the bevel gears. I will explain this to you with this demonstration only. So listen to this very carefully. Let me bring the camera to close. So let us first categorize the two wheels. The first gear here is the driver gear, and the bigger gear is the driven gear. So if you see on the driver wheel. The teeth are 16 in number, and on the bigger gear it is 32. So if we divide 16 by 32, it is 1 by 2, and so the gear ratio is 1 is to 2. This means that when you rotate the smaller gear by two rotations, the bigger gear has to rotate by one rotation. This means that the torque on the bigger gear is much higher, and high force is required to move this wheel. So this is the only reason I am using gears, because they do not transmit any backward forces, as you can see. If you rotate it by the driver wheel, it rotates, and if you rotate it by driven wheel, it does not rotate. Now, after that, we are done putting the gears. Let us now fix this handle to this driver gear. So now I am done putting this handle inside this gear. So this is a tight fit, so we need to press this thing a little bit. Now let us put this whole assembly inside this box. So we just need to pass the handle. To the hole provided, and then pass through this hole. This will be how it will be looking. In the next step, let us put the driven wheel inside this assembly. So you just need to pass it like this, push it through the outer hole. Now this is fixed. You see, it is rotating very nice, very smooth. Next. Let us take this top lid and cover it over the box. And now it is ready to use. We just need to wound some strings inside this and pass it through this hole. For winding, I will use this nylon string which I bought from my hardware shop for some twenty rupees or so. So now for winding it, I have tied the one end of the string to the bottom of the rod here. So it doesn't move out and remains in place. Now this is how it looks like in the final stage. I am very happy because it turned out perfectly well as I thought it would have been. I have held this lid on these two tiny screws, and for the hook thing, I have used a keychain hook, which works very perfectly. So inside here, there is about six meters of wire, and the only reason I have used so much of nylon wire is just for pressure distribution. You see. Whenever you extend some length of the wire to dry your dirty clothes upon, there is a lot of pressure on the string, which further increases as you increase the length of the string. So this whole amount of force is transferred directly from the string to your rod. And at a point when the force reaches the yield strength of the rod material, which in this case is PLA, rod will break. And this is the only reason I have used extra tons of string. So the force, instead of falling directly on the rod, is distributed throughout on the string material as well. So now. Let us test it with some clothes and see how this thing has turned out. And my design here has met to my expectations pretty well. 
However, you can add more amount of clothes, but my room length is limited and also some of my clothes are censored. So if you like this video then please share your valuable thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Jai Hind.